Hey there, this is Mae Renfro from the Lives for Jesus ministry and I just want to tell you a bit about myself and my ministry and kind of what, where my heart is and my passion and um, my vision for what I feel God has placed on my heart and is calling me to. I'm first a wife and mother, um, mother to nine amazing children and to my husband Paul, married for uh, 21 years, a lover of Jesus. And, you know, I have that uh, passion in me to to share the hope that I have with Jesus with others and uh, just to ha help see other women drawing closer to the heart of God and to experience a full, intimate relationship with God and just experience yeah, all the things that God has for us to be able to walk in uh, joy and peace and uh, contentment and walking in a close and intimate relationship with God that too often we can be a uh, fall into the Christian name but we're still not being set free from things that are holding us captive and holding us back and we just need more the power of God in our lives and I am passionate about uh, drawing women closer to the heart of God to experience all that he has for us we can know the word the word you know and know a lot of things about God and about the Bible but if we don't okay take it from a head knowledge to a heart connection and have that relationship with God that we really do not have anything that's going to hold us and will sustain us when hard times come it's that relationship in God and putting our complete trust and surrendering our will for it for his will are all for his all and just making him not only the savior of our life from our sins but the lord of our life we truly make him the lord of our life then we um have them in our life that will sustain us and keep us and we have the hope of heaven one day and we can um, walk in the power of god right now here on the earth and i want to bring that hope and the power of the gospel to others so they can um, to walk in victory over sin not only receive forgiveness from sin uh, from God but to walk in victory and I want to bring you know hope and encouragement and inspiration to those that are going through some really hard and difficult times in life because I think it will come to the best of us it'll come to every one of us at some point and say oh when we're grounded in Jesus and have that strength and we uh, that is what carries us through uh, these times and that is what's going to sustain us and keep us um, above above water so to speak and um, that, that, that's what God wants to give us. He wants to be our peace in the midst of our storms and just to give us the strength that we need to carry through. And I want to give, you know, the, the encouragement that our, our tragedies are not the end of our stories. That regardless of what happens in life, that uh, God can use that, can use the worst things uh, for his glory and for our good and he he brings us sometimes through things just to me you know for a reason we, we grow in those times our faith can grow stronger and bolder and closer to him and we have a new face new strength of our faith that we can then share that with others and empower others um, and that's what I'm wanting to do and, and see us um, as women just um, to be strong and experience um, the peace of God in our lives um, that is not um, determined by our situations and our circumstances and the things that's happening around us. I know firsthand um, pain and sorrow and grief when we lost our uh, second oldest son at the age of 14 um, back in uh, April of 2017. He was just two months short of his 15th birthday and um, he died suddenly in a quad accident. It um, rolled and he was pinned underneath and he died of a, a broken neck and a broken back and it just suddenly uh, from one moment to the next our world was turned upside down. Um, yeah, he was healthy, happy and one minute went out for this little ride and said see you later mom and that was the last time I seen him alive and so I, yeah, I know what it is to walk a um, very difficult road and it's put us on a whole new journey. And I can't say that I know what you're walking through and going through right now. I, I don't, but um, but I, I know who walks with us. I know that who, who never leaves us alone, that is always with us, regardless of what we're going through, who's still on the throne, still in charge, who loves us uh, more than we can ever think or imagine, even if you don't know him yet. You know, even those that don't have that really relationship, God um, still 
loves us and and he's um, wants you for his own but he's already you know he has a plan and a purpose for what he allows us to go through and I can see that in our own um, in our own tragedy that hit us our family and that he just gave us the strength to keep on going he continues to give us the strength and he's giving us a new hope a new you know purpose and uh, that we can pour into others and I believe in that for you that this is not the end of your story that God's got something great uh, and he can turn you know the worst situations into something beautiful he takes something bad uh, and turns it around you know for our good and for his glory and I believe in that for you so that is my passion and just to bring the hope of the gospel and the power of God's word to others and so we um, empower them to walk in victory and in joy and fulfillment in life and to be able to have the hope in God the same hope that I have so I know that he'll be everything to you as he's been to me and that is what I want to bring and that is the reason that I keep going keep doing this and pouring out to others that is my passion and my vision and uh, for others